Little background story, I used to live in a townhouse community. They used to close the front gates at night, so you needed a code or a remote to get in. I had a remote in my car, but this night I had gone out on a date and didn't have it with me. We, my date and I, were already heading back to my place. When we get to the gate, there was a car blocking the way. They weren't trying to put in a code or anything, they were just blocking it. We waited a few minutes. We thought maybe they were waiting for someone, but they didn't move. My date flashed his lights at them in hopes that they would at least go to the side so we could get in. They didn't move, so we tried one more time before he honked. That's when they finally moved out of the way. We make it inside and they followed us. They started tailgating him and honking like crazy, so we decided to stop. They, one guy and two girls, decided to get out of their car and started banging on the window. The girls kept yelling at me to get out of the car since they thought I was so tough for flashing lights at them. I kept telling them that we were just trying to get in and they were not moving, but they wouldn't having it. They kept insisting that they had it and couldn't have gotten in if they wanted to. Obviously not since they didn't get in until we opened the gate. They kept banging on the windows. I honestly thought they were going to break them, and they were going to start punching them. Thankfully, my date finally sped out of there and left the complex. They kept hitting our car as we drove off. He didn't want to drop me off at home because he feared that they would follow me and find out where I lived. So we drove for 30 minutes or so before he took me home. There was no sign of them. When we got back, thankfully, I was scared to run into them again. I wasn't sure if they actually lived there or not, since they were trying to get in the gate. But man, I fear seeing those two girls again. I am not a confrontational person or ever been in a fight. I generally get along with everyone, so I have never been through a situation like that. Thankfully, I moved a few months ago, not because of the girls, but because our lease was up and it was getting too expensive to stay there. So yeah, girls in the silver car, let's not meet ever again. I lived next to this old man, late 60s balding. He was a strange man and I never said a word to him for the six years I lived there. Here's why. In third grade when I was getting off the bus, my dad told me that he was walking to pick me up from the bus stop. I saw the old man talking to me. He was just pointing to his car. The truth is, he was motioning me to go for a ride with him and said my dad said it was okay. My dad began running towards the old man and he realized that my dad was running full speed and he fled in his car. My dad was stupid not to press charges. Instead, we moved six months later. So old man who potentially tried to abduct me. I hope I never meet you again. So this letter just got posted while I was watching television at 11 p.m. Eva, you put some food on the stool and bus shelter at the top of the street, or I'll smash every window and kick fuck out of anyone in your house. Make sure it's nice food or mark my words. I'll kill you. Do it in five minutes or watch what happens. P.S. Just put some food up there and that's it. Thanks. This kindly worded letter was sent by someone who lives up the street, who I've never said anything more to than, you know, at the next door, when he knocked on my door by mistake. I called the police, 
and they found out that this guy's been harassing different women up the street, particularly targeting single women with babies under six months. A strange encounter, but the police seem to be taking it seriously. Edit. The guy who did this is being evicted by the community. It's good for us, but a shame when he inevitably becomes someone else's problem. <laughs>